Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. It's awesome that you clicked on this video. That means a lot to me. If you haven't already, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon as well in case you want to get notifications of all the new stuff that's coming out. Give me a thumbs up and commenting down below. Best way to help the channel as well as sharing this video. More than likely, I'm not gonna get dumped into people's recommendation feeds, so um, it would really would help. I would appreciate it. All right, so let's get into this video because I'm just, I'm just floored. I, I can't believe that this happens. If you saw the thumbnail, obviously, you saw that uh, people have now started stealing individual rounds from stores and I get it, we are in a drought when it comes to ammunition, but have we stooped to that level? Are we, are we that far down the hole that we need to do that now? I mean, I mean, I get it. They've got these anti-theft devices attached to the boxes. So I understand why people might do individual instead of the entire box, but man, just blows my mind. What has been the weirdest thing that you've experienced purchasing a firearm or ammo or whatever, sound off in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about it. But let me give you some context, some background on what's going on. So earlier today, I was out running some errands and I stopped by my local um, gun store. It's one of the local shops that I swing in and talk to the guys. I know a few of them in there and we just kind of BS a little bit and talk about what's going on, so on and so forth. And um, I got some intel that one of the big box stores here in town was selling 9mm. They had 9mm in stock. And I was like, oh my goodness, oh, I need to get over there. I'm running kind of short, so I need to pick some up for, for the channel. And so I did. I went over there. Unfortunately, I can only buy three boxes. So I looked around. I saw that they have quite a bit. So I'm going to try to pick up some more tomorrow. But uh, that's fine. That's their policy. I get it. I'm, I'm okay with it. I'll, fo I'll follow it. Right? But <laughs> anyway, I picked up what I could and then went ahead and picked up um, three boxes of this 5.56 that they had. It's Frontier. Uh, it's got the Hornady bullets and this is going to be the 75 grain um, Boattail hollow point. So I thought maybe this would be good for hunting. Took those six boxes up to the front counter and the lady behind the counter very astutely asked me, hey, does this box feel a little light to you? And before I could even answer, she opened it up and we saw that it was half empty. And it just blew my mind. I was just like, what is going on? I was like, I didn't, I definitely didn't do that. And she's like, well, it seems like people are being very creative in how they steal things now. I was like, yeah, that's, that's really, really weird. So I wanted to not only kind of have a little bit of a rant here, but also a PSA for you guys. If you have the ability to check your ammo before you buy it, definitely do it. These white boxes, you usually can open them up and take a look to make sure that everything's good to go. Obviously, if the store is okay with you doing that, make sure you do it in front of an employee so they know that you're not trying to steal it too. And then these boxes here, these are sealed. So if they're sealed, obviously you're good to go. But it's a lesson that I learned. I mean, maybe I'm naive. Maybe things like this happen all the time and I just don't know it, but uh, at the end of the day, make sure you guys are checking those things out and you're not getting kind of screwed over. And if you're the person who is going in and swiping these rounds out of the boxes, uh, you're an asshole uh, because you're screwing over people who possibly could desperately need that ammunition. I know several people who have purchased their first firearm here recently. I know people who have purchased their second firearm because they're really worried about what's going on right now and they just want to protect themselves. They want to protect their family, their kids, and, and their livelihood. Um, I know a couple single moms right now who are just struggling to get by and are worried about protecting themselves. So if, if, you're, if you're doing this, stop because you're screwing over the people who desperately need this stuff. Obviously, I'm buying what I'm supposed to buy, when I can buy it, um, and I'm, you know, in some cases, paying more than what I should, uh, but that's to support the channel here and to, to bring you guys reviews. Now, my round counts have gone down because of everything. I'm trying to conserve as much as possible, uh, but I'm 
trying to do things in a different different perspective so you guys get more information out of less rounds being fired. So that's kind of my rant on what's going on. Um, let me know what you guys think. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever encountered at the gun store? Sound off in the comment section down below. I am I just naive? Is this happening more than uh, I'm expecting it to? I, I don't know. I just, I really feel that um, things like this doesn't happen and I guess it does more so than I thought. But uh, anyways, thanks for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you want to support the channel monetarily, there's links down in the description below on how you can do that. I want to say a special thank you to all of the Patreon members, especially you new guys out there that have been jumping on here recently. Uh, I know it's hard. It's a hard time of year, but uh, even a dollar goes a long way and I really, really do appreciate that guys. So if you have the ability to support the channel that way, feel free to do that. If you can't, I understand. I thank you for just watching. Share it with your friends as well and we will catch you guys next time. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. See you guys later. Have a great one. Bye y'all.